How's it going guys? It is 2.52 a.m. Saturday, May 28th here in Japan and we have an easy slash past level cardio farm question for step one. Not every question I make is going to be overly dramatic or nitpicky. Gotta focus on the high yield stuff, right? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L and man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 72-year-old woman. She has substernal chest pain. It increases while she walks her dog around the block. She has a past medical history of hypertension, diabetes mellitus type 2. A sublingual medication is prescribed to decrease the pain during the episodes. Question wants to know the most likely explanation for the effectiveness of the pharmacologic agent. This patient clearly has stable angina due to atherosclerosis of the coronary arteries. So this is ischemic heart disease. And we give sublingual nitroglycerin as the medication. Okay, as I fucking said, it's past level. So let's just walk through the answer choices here. Choice A, arterial dilation, wrong answer. It's could refer to a myriad of agents. ACE inhibitors, angiotensin II receptor blockers, and that's because angiotensin II is a potent vasoconstrictor, not only of the efferent arterioles of the kidney, but also peripheral arterioles. Could refer to dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers, i.e. nifedipine and lodipine, as well as hydralazine, okay? What am I gonna do? Make this a 47 minute clip where I talk about every little fucking detail, all the medications, all their side effects, all their applications, right? Have to stay consolidated. Point is, arterial or dilation, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, decreased chronotropy, wrong answer. This refers to a drug that would decrease heart rate. And in fact, nitrates do the opposite. They increase heart rate. And the reason for that is because the correct answer here is venodilation. You need to know nitrates cause an increase in CGMP within venous smooth muscle, causes increase in protein kinase G, which causes relaxation of that smooth muscle. So we get venous pooling, decreased preload because of decreased venous return to the heart. Therefore, decreased myocardial oxygen demand, and a relief of pain. Now, as a result of that decreased preload, in order to compensate, the heart will actually increase the heart rate, okay, which is increased inotropy. Now, an astute student might say, but wait a second, that makes no sense. If you're increasing heart rate as a result of giving nitrates, wouldn't that increase oxygen demand, right? Well, here's the thing. The reduction in myocardial oxygen demand secondary to the decreased preload from the venodilation eclipses is greater in magnitude than the theoretical increase in oxygen demand as a result of the increased inotropy, okay? So overall, we have a net reduction in myocardial oxygen demand. Now, the CAMP answers are clearly wrong because, as I just fucking said, nitrates cause an increase in CGMP. All right, not CAMP. Now, increased production of CAMP, uh, not even sure off the top of my head what drug would do that. Uh, decreased breakdown of CAMP would be phosphodiesterase inhibitors, such as dipyrinamol and celastazole. Okay, long discussion regarding all the medications, as I said before. You should know that nitrates are contraindicated with sildenafil, okay, Viagra. So, sildenafil will prevent the breakdown of CGMP and nitrates increase production of CGMP so we can get a precipitous drop in blood pressure in those patients. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.